Turn it up! Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all... <laughs> Avatar? After all the travails through space, I'm now here, an avatar, whose mouth isn't synchronized when he speaks, but I'm here to present to you the 19th annual Animation and Film Festival. You do not know how excited I am to do this festival this year in this way, because after, you know, having spent time in the universe, I really wanted to get back to Earth. But it's okay, I guess. I'm here in Simpson Land. I cannot believe I landed in Animation World where the Simpsons live. This is like truly a dream come true. Anyways, I am really excited to share with you all the really cool projects that the students have worked on the past school year for uh, fall 2021, spring 2022. And I have the digital imaging students and the advanced animation students both of which were working on projects that truly lasted a long time to create. For the digital imaging students, they had to do their animated graphic novels, and for the advanced animation students, they were working on their 3D uh, trailer and films. And you have to understand, for the advanced students, they have been working on their projects for the whole school year. Whereas the digital imaging students, there are two groups of projects. There will be the fall semester projects and this past spring semester projects and I did want to also mention that there is a process that the students go through and I wanted to share that with you right now originally when the students begin they first begin with the actual story writing and storytelling and then once they actually have their stories written and revised then they move into character design and this is where they create some of the model sheets that you're seeing here 
The model sheets are basic visual representations of what the character is going to look like. And once they do their model sheets, they also then create some of the maquettes. And the maquette is a 3D version of what the character is like if you are to create and have to see the character in 3D. And there's a lot of really beautiful projects that you're seeing here as well. And then we move into storyboarding. And with storyboarding, students are able to go ahead and are able to plan out their cartoons as you're seeing here. Check out how awesome they are. And then finally, we go into the beautiful actual project. Let's first view the 3D animation projects created by my advanced animation students for this school year. I have to say, these are pretty awesome. Hope you enjoy.
Who are you? The name's Wayne. Wayne Cowbell. The West is my home. I need to get back. Well then what are we waiting for? It's time to get you home. What happened to my hometown? Wayne, help us! You messed with the wrong cowboy. Yeah, how did you learn that, Wayne? That was awesome. I learned it from my pig. Where is everybody? Something happened with the city's gravity and everyone moved out. Oh no, not again! Doors just open. Whoever's inside might be able to explain how you got here. If whatever's behind that door can get me home, I gotta try. Be careful in here. I got a bad feeling about this. See you inside. It's now or never.
my audience, one thing that I want you to understand is that my 3D animation students only had half a year to create those projects you just viewed. Normally, they have the whole year, but because of the COVID restrictions, students were not able to use a computer lab for the first part of the semester. It was mostly all planning, like you saw with the model sheet storyboards and maquette work and studying how to use a program, but they were not able to use a program. So for my students to be able to pull off those 3D projects you just saw in less than six months, it's pretty amazing. And considering that they just used the program for the very first time is pretty remarkable also. And I have to tell you, the program that I'm talking about is Autodesk Maya, the leading industry standard in 3D animation. And I'm proud to see that my students are using that program to create their projects at King Middle School. So yeah, I'm a very proud papa. Papa of animation. Party ar har. <laughs> One thing that I also wanted to share with you right now is something that I call the studio assignments. Studio assignments are something that I implemented years back before COVID because I'd established some great relationships with the studios. And therefore, what I decided to do is the following. I decided to have my students design elements of what was coming up from the upcoming film. So for example, many years ago, students were able to design uh, Elsa's castle for Frozen 2. Or they were able to design Maleficent's castle for Maleficent's part 2. Recently, my students were able to do four awesome really cool studio projects that I'm going to be able to share with you right now. And what happens is, once the st students create these elements, whether it's in 2D or 3D, the studio gets a view of this project, and then they decide which one of the students will be able to come to the advanced screening of the film. So that's the added bonus. Not only do the students get extra credit points, but then they also get invited to the advanced screening of the film that they created the elements for. I hope you enjoy what you're about to watch.
Wow, I just realized I gave you the wrong number. It wasn't four studio assignments, it was in fact five studio assignments. And what's so great again about this project that we do with the studios is that it allows students to work directly with professionals that are already working in the studios and it gives them insight on character design, design, marketing. So it's really a great project and I'm glad to be able to bring back after this um, you know, pandemic has slowly alleviated. And I also wanted to share with you that we normally have the advanced animation students visit a studio during the school year to inspire them. And sadly, um, for the, because of COVID, we haven't been able to do that. Um, and usually in the past, we would visit Nickelodeon Animation Studios in Burbank. This year, we had the great opportunity of visiting Paramount Studios. And not only was it a visit to the studios, but it was also the premiere of the phenomenal film, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So here are some pictures from our event. As you can see, the students are really enjoying themselves. And we got to actually visit one of the oldest studios in the United States of America. And it was a really cool experience because many of us had not had that opportunity before. And now I'd like to be able to share with you the phenomenal Digital Imaging Student Projects. Now, the Digital Imaging Students that I've had, I had two separate groups. I had one in the fall, 2021, and then one just this past spring, in 2022. And both groups had to go through the process, like you saw in the beginning, of not only revising and writing their stories, but then designing their characters, and then, of course, planning out their actual projects and in the end they came up with this animated graphic novel all with different and interesting and original story ideas i hope you enjoy
go hunt for your own harvest. never work, it's like there's some force that modern science can't comprehend. I'm going for a walk. supposed to leave. I just can't be real. Sorry, Lars. It's okay, Oliver. belongs to you. Hmm, I guess something will survive. They're not really enough to rebuild with, though. Who are you, anyway? I'm from the government. I was sent here to protect you due to the potential military applications of your research, and I... See how the balls just bounced off of it. Well, that hurt. Now it's personal. Though I should be more careful of delicate technology. Yes, yes, I'll be waiting. So, where the heck are we going anyway? military base outside the city. Never would have thought there was one so close to Chrome City. Back in later. 
In the meantime, I don't want to kill anyone. I'm sad. I've been here for an hour. Where is it? Maybe we gave it the set. No, we didn't. I bet it just wants us to let her go down. And then it will attack. It's probably already here. Again? Oh no. The end. Written by Owen Hubbard. Music, Creation and Beyond, Paradox Interactive, performed by Sh music boss. Me too.
away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why? Bridget, we have to move tomorrow morning for my new job that will give me more money than before. Everything I own is packed away. My room, it feels... Meaningless, abandoned, pointless, lonely, purposeless, and worthless. Hey mom, I want to check out what the other kid is up to. Shoot. Well, we need to stop at Planet Hyrule to see if they have any fuel.
the rubber war. It's 476 AD this is the time of the medieval years. The tires officially declared war against the nails due to the nails popping their people away. The war started calming down years later where peace was made. Then the first world war started and the nails and cones chose opposite sides so their peace was over. And again during the second. They made a treaty after the war, but we all know it won't last. Today is 2022, the tires, nails, or cones have not had a conflict since then. The two sides haven't made contact in over 60 years. Today the cones and tires would be found at Joey's shop. Beneath the mechanic shop is the location of the cone facility. It's a massive base with all cones and tires where they store their tanks and laser cannons. Just kidding it's just some random basement. They haven't dedicated time into weapons because they think war is very unlikely. Now we will meet our heroes. Rob, why would you never pick to be placed into a car? I don't know Mize, but I'm glad I haven't been picked yet. It's hard. I guess it makes sense. Meanwhile outside, I assume your tire popped again? Yeah, sorry about that. No problem, I'll get started. Please, not me. <sighs> oh, Jack, it looks like you've finally been picked. Yeah, this is a big step for me. It's done. Thanks. Hey guys, I was just watching TV, what's going on? Idiot. I'm gonna spread this news and try to gather people to take these guys down. Okay, so now we have an army. Now what? To the rats. Dear rats, if you want to settle this war, go to Mount Nail in a week. No. I swear I've seen this guy's name in a file before. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, co hey, come here. Take a look at this. So we're chasing a ghost? Well, clearly not. We saw him like a few minutes ago. How are we gonna beat him? Follow me. Take a look. The art of destroying a nail. So this is how the technique works. When the nail attacks, you absorb the blow, and this is the hard part. Once the blow is absorbed, you blow yourself up, and hopefully the nail will shatter. If it doesn't shatter on impact, it is possible that you could throw the nail into a wall, and in doing so, shattering it. Alright, let's get training. One week later. The training is over, let's attack. We should give them a speech first. Okay, you got this. Noel is a monster and took one of our own. He needs to pay. We will march to Mount Nail and destroy him. Now let's go. Welcome. Beautiful, isn't it? Mount Nail. The home of our kind. Yeah, yeah, who cares? Let's just get this over with. Ignorance. Attack! We'll take him together. You actually think you could take me? Pathetic. Ironic coming from the guy who's losing. What? Doesn't matter. What's he doing? It's time. I've been saving this. Die! No! Let's go home. The end. Written and illustrated by Boris Banwer. Music, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 release soundtrack. Performed by the Blue Notes Piano Tutorial.
At school. Hey, kid. Hey, class. Let's hurry up. I'm so excited. How about you guys? Meanwhile, it's time. Let's go. Come on, class. It's time to go. Why is that car key following us? Well, there shouldn't be any problem, right? But, sir, what if people think we're... I'm only getting the treasure. We'll have to get there before the kids do. At the park. Sir, I think the school is going to the same way as us. Should we go back? Do not worry. We're just getting the treasure. Why is the car keep going the same way as us? What is wrong? It's nothing. <laughs> We're finally here at the Fossil Museum. You look too happy. Hey guys, let me take a picture of you guys. Click. Look at the dinosaur's head, it's so big. I like how the dinosaur's bones are placed. Good afternoon. Today, the Fossil Museum will be open for 20 hours. Please take care and have a nice day. Meanwhile, let's hurry up and finish the job before the old lady comes. Miss Chu, may I go to the restroom? Sure, just make sure to come back right after. Quiet. Shh. Be quiet. Hurry up and go back. Mm, I should go back now. Where's the elevator? <gasps> I need to tell the teacher. Go get him. Yes, sir. Hey, kid, we're not that kind of people. Would you listen? No, of course not. How would I believe you? You have a gun. Teacher, how? There's thieves. No, they saw us. What do I do? Everyone, go to the storage room right now. Irene, are you okay? To be continued.
is imperfect.
I hope you enjoy those projects. But I wanted to also let you know that throughout the years, I've been wanting to share with my students some of my own projects. And before COVID, I had worked on a documentary film with my friend, Van Max Carlson. And the film was about homelessness in Los Angeles. And while we were shooting, we were covering the life of a homeless veteran whose name was Gerald Paul, who is now my new best friend and will be my lifelong friend. And what happened was I wanted to take that project and inspire my students to have them do something for homelessness in Los Angeles. And lucky enough, our film was playing at the Dances with Films Festival in Los Angeles, and we actually won the Best Audience Award. It's very exciting. And so I had my students work on homeless projects during the year. And this is the film's trailer that hopefully inspired them to do some really awesome work in Los Angeles. Now listen to a story untold. Now listen to a story unfold about the love. The love on Skid Row. All you can do is just keep hope alive. Keep your head up. And hope for the best. And not the worst. Yeah, we got mechanics. We got everything down here. Look at it. Even though Pac-Man made the Skid Row, he done hit rock bottom. The cost of living is too high. Can't nobody afford it. So he got to sleep on the streets. That's not right. That's not fair. Of course, as you can see, there's a lot of hard living. But one of the things is some of the most beautiful people that you'll ever meet in your life down here. You just got to look a little closer than the average cat. It's irreprehensible to think that they can have a downtown in the but we can't have one. To address the multiplicity of issues that we have in our community. You look at your plate sometimes, you see it's kind of empty. You're not like you're really looking around being envious of what everybody else is eating, but you definitely want to chew on something. It should never take this long to get a bathroom three decades. The toilet that you bring in is 10 years late and it's 300 too short. We're saying no to this tower project. There are a lot of us. I'm homeless veterans. Not just one. I'm one of them. You're an army regular, dog? Regular army. Regular army dog. All right. The community creates, innovates, fights for policy to make sure housing is erected. The most important vote in the history of Skid Row for the Skid Row Neighborhood Council. One of these days, we're going to start talking about humanity as being priority, something that should be cherished every day of our lives. I truly believe that one day, it's not going to matter how much money you have in your pocket. The only question that's going to matter is, are you hungry? Are you OK? May I help you? Well, this brings us to the conclusion of our 19th Annual Animation Film Festival. So this has been really over two hours of pretty phenomenal stu uh, student content. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would like to really let you know that I am going to try to get back to Earth in time to do the 20th Annual Animation and Film Festival. It will be the anniversary year of this film festival. And it will return to the Vista Theater's 100th year anniversary for 2023. Looking forward to it, very excited about it, but I definitely have to leave this dimension and get back to Earth. So thank you so much again for visiting and see you next year. Please take care. Come on, Dad, let's go. I've been holding it since they put the dome over the town. You can wait. A lot of people work really hard on this film and all they ask is for you to memorize their names. Well, I want to make sure no animals were harmed during the filming of this movie. Phew. Okay. Woo, floor popcorn. Wait, wait, wait. It looks like Maggie has something to say. Oh my god, her first word. Sequel?